Finally, what Jesus has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tropical 6. I'm your mind for today, ladies and gentlemen. We're continuing the second DLC for Tropical 6. Spider. So what exactly I'm doing over here? If you have just joined and you have not watched the previous episodes, basically I want to build myself the biggest, the best city possible ever. Like I have ever actually built in Tropical. Because if you watch it like, okay, maybe some of the previous episodes of Tropical 6, you know that most of the times I just stick to one place and, you know, try to develop that place and before I'm done, I've actually managed to finish the map. So, this time, I want to go full out, alright? I want to build huge. I want to basically build something on almost all of, it, all of this thing, like all of this entire fucking ass archipelago. I want to build something cool on it, right? That's the plan. So today, I think we can try to develop the dock area because, uh, yeah, I got this. Not really happy with this, so... I got this little island over here, right, in the middle of this, and apparently this is the bait that the ships have to use if they want to get to the port. So, I want to also connect this little town over here, because this is where I am do my weaponry thingy, right? So this is a, actually a weapon factory. Maybe I should try to destroy those apartments and build something less fancy. Yeah, probably that'd be a good idea. This looks a bit too fancy. <laughs> I mean, this is after all a weapon production facility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna demolish this thing and we're gonna give them the uh, the less fancy apartments Just just in case. There you go. Much better. I hope that actually this thing is gonna work. So why the fuck my support went down the drain? What the shit is happening over here? Healthcare? What? My support went down. Why? Okay what the actual fuck is happening right now? What the fudge? So what type of resources do we actually have over here? We got a little bit of gold, so that's great. Uh, so I'm gonna probably try to use that thing. Now let's see, I want to make myself a dock over here and probably leave some space for more docks in the future if needed to. So yeah, I can build a bunch of docks over here, so that's great. So let's make one over here. And we're gonna of course build some apartments and I want to maybe build myself some warehouses as well over here. You know, just for the loose and giggles, I guess. But still, so how are we gonna go with the road? If I'm gonna make the road like this. Like such. Okay. And yeah, of course we're gonna need some warehouses as... Uh, I mean the... team and offices as well over here. So if I'm gonna... How did that happen? If I'm gonna build this thing here, can I actually align this thing with a warehouse? Yeah, I can. Sweet! So I've built something like this. Uh, I'm gonna probably show you this thing after this is gonna, gonna actually get built because I've already managed to rebuild this place like three times. <laughs> so we have to probably cut that part out. Uh, I also wanted to build the fair thingy. What is that thing? Probably in the entertainment. There it is. I would love to squeeze it here though. Yeah, I think it's actually gonna look great. Okay, so then we got the roundabout over here that goes directly to the dock area. And then from here we also have to go to this place here. But before that, I need to connect myself to this place. So how are we gonna do this? Well, I was thinking about that, and I think we're gonna do something like this. So delete this thing, temporary, obviously. Uh, right, and I want to have a plaza somewhere over here, because this is gonna be... Yeah, double laid road, so I think more or less I can go somewhere over here, right? Yeah, it should be right. If needed, I can just, you know, destroy a bit of the road, nobody's gonna care about that thing. Yeah, I actually have to do that thing right away. Okay, and then two tiles away, and you're gonna get connected here. Two tiles away, gonna get connected here. Okay, now connect you with the rest of the network. Like such. From here... Two tiles. Yeah, you're gonna go like this. Okay, looks a bit weird, but, you know, it's just going according to plan, I guess. I think. Actually, you know what, I think you could try to go from the middle part. Do we have any factories over here? No, and I don't plan to have any factories over there, so... You know, so, you know, still like going... Connecting this thing like this... We're gonna go from the middle. There you go. Okay, and then from here... We're gonna go... Uh, to that little island in the middle. And then from there, we're gonna go to the weapon factory facility over there. So we just have to make a road here, I guess. Like such. Okay, and then I need to make myself a bridge. So this thing is gonna connect here. And I know it's not, like, straight, but that's fine. Beautiful! Okay, and there's a double laid road over here because it goes to the dock area. Right? So that means there's gonna be a lot of, well, 
transports over there because exporting and stuff like that. And then we're gonna make another bridge. But I cannot make that big fancy bridge. I would love to make the big fancy bridge though. And I need to connect you somehow over here. Yeah, so destroy this. And as soon as this thing is gonna get destroyed, we're gonna connect you by the road and everybody's gonna be happy. Yeah, I know you cannot get built. Give me a second. Working on that thing. Okay, this thing is get destroyed. Nice. And come on, allow me to build. Allow me to build. There we go. I think I cannot build. So go from the middle. Yeah, this is fine, I guess. Right? I can later on repair this. This is just a road. Like, repairing roads in this game is the easiest task. Too bad that the fucking ship is going through the bridge. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. In the meantime, as I'm waiting for those things to get finished, I have to do some fixing over here. Why the fuck this thing is on fire? Send the helicopter. I don't have a helicopter? What's the bloody ass? I didn't give you the upgrade? I didn't give you the upgrade. Would you look at that? Send the helicopter. Right, so the radio tower over here. Uh, I don't like it. I want to build the radio tower station thingy somewhere over here, actually. So... Here? I think that's a good idea, because it should technically uh, take over this entire section of the city, right? Yeah, it should be, no problemo. So build the radio tower over there. Now, I want to do this cabaretia thingy, because it's standing behind the cathedral and I just don't like how it looks over here. So destroy that thing, we're gonna place it in a different place. Um, you know what, I think building it somewhere like over here. the old saying goes, you scratch my back? I slip my hand into your jacket and leave a big fat envelope of money. <laughs> I like the envelope part. I must say though, I was surprised to see the higher Miss Kustinov what's her game then. I mean, you are entirely sure that she can be trusted. She's not exactly an open book. Unlike my accounts, eh? <laughs> or at least version of them that I showed to auditors. Right, so we have Luxury Hotel and we have two celebrities on Tropico right now. Which is great, which is part of my <laughs> brilliant plan to reward dominance. What? Nothing. Uh, okay, cabaret here can be built in the front of it, so that should be clear. Right, I don't think there's anything else for me to fix over here. Though, this casino over here is not going along with the fashion company that I have here. So probably I should try to move the casino somewhere over here, like in front of the banks. For the loose and giggles. So you can just take yourself alone. After you're gonna go out complete bankruptcy because of the casino. <laughs> and probably be building somewhere here a parking lot would be a good idea. Let's see. Here? Yeah, it should be fine. So I'm gonna build a parking clock here. Okay, how does President the tourism is at an all-time high? We have even been removed from several do not travel danger advisory lists. You sure about the last part? <laughs> we should reveal our popularity. I shall break open the championage. Just think, we've improved our tourist facilities over further, and who knows how many more rich holiday makers and celebrities we can bring to Tropico. Parks for free. Do you honestly think I need parks for free? I need something to increase my support because holy shit, what the fuck is wrong with that thing? Holy crap. Something is wrong with the hospitals? Where the fuck are all the college educated people? Okay. That explains a lot. Son of a bitch. They won an election and I'm so unfucking prepared for an election. What the shit is happening with this thing? Is the Communist Party not happy with me or what? Oh yeah. Okay, let's try to get the Communist people on our sides. Promise nothing. And let's increase our popularity with those fractions a little bit. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the capitalists over here. Right, this guy. Capitalist standing. Industrial standing. Okay, so this is one of the new celebrities. Okay, let's go with the capital standing. So that's gonna give me more, I guess. And you guys... Okay, I need to help a bit of those guys as well. Right, I'm gonna focus on Remember repairing that the thing. Story of the man who sure, you're already doing appeal, so that should be easy to do. Next stop is... Celebrity 60 Seconds! Only on Canal Uno. What? Today, Tropico bids a fond farewell to Magnus Sterling who left us all the richer for knowing him. Except in any monetary sense, since he was surprisingly tight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck, what mistake like the celebrity have left? Friend. Oh shit, I need a lot more standing. Holy shit, this is not going according to plan, isn't it? My god, what the fuck has happened? Is it because of this healthcare? That's why all of a sudden my support went down the hill? Jesus, thank Christ. 
I think it's because the college was not working for like some time and that's why everything went to shit. God damn it. There are a few things in this game that you actually can't buy with money. Okay, four months remaining and please don't tell me I'm gonna fuck it up because I will have to load the game and I already did a bunch of things so I prefer oh, that's not gonna happen. Bribe! 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 Bribe every single one of you dipshits, you stupid piece of shits, you worthless junks. Because I swear to God. Squeeze past, please. There you go. Alright, all of them have been bribed and my popularity is not increasing. It's actually decreasing. That's that's not even funny at this point. What the fuck? Okay. Time for some tax evasions, boys. Tax cuts. Issue. Uh, what else we could try to do? No free lunch? No, 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 no. Urban development? Yeah, probably it's not gonna help. Okay. I think I should win the hearts and minds of Tropicans. If not, then I have to find my rival and probably send him on a very long vacation without a ticket to return. That was a Phew! One, President Thank Baker. God! Apparently. Jesus. I'm starting to think I've made some very huge mistake over here. I got 46 open positions right now on Tropico that nobody is capable of taking on. That means most of the buildings are not working or are not working as intended. Well, shit. And we are just still adding more buildings and more buildings, which means we're gonna need more workforce, which I'm not getting. Hmm. That could be a problem at some point, I guess. But as long as I'm making money, that should be completely fucking fine. Okay, we got electricity over here, so that's great as well. Uh, I'm kind of thinking about building another, you know, rich district thingy over here. Probably, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, right, the airport is working as intended, I guess. Luxury airlines, that's exactly the thing I need. How about we can add some cool stuff over here? Like, I don't know. What could we, what could we add over here? A yacht. Yeah, that sounds nice. Want to add it over here? What else we could try to build? Hang gliding. Sure. Make it over here. Uh, entertainment. You know what? I'm kind of missing those cool ass buildings that you could build back in the previous Tropical games on the beach shore. And on the shore in general. That actually were related to tourism and stuff like that. And I just don't see those buildings any longer. I don't know what happened to them. I mean, yeah, sure, okay, we could try to build some of those. Souvenir shop. Uh, tour office, maybe later on. Ethnic Eclave. Provides fun to visit tourists. Okay, maybe we could try to build that thing. Family resort. Uh, cruiser ship, that's definitely the thing I need. Uh, scenic overlook. Visitors must be well off or better. Low cost attraction that provides fun for visitors to tourists. Beach villa. High accommodation for with two rooms. Preferred by tourists seeking stress relief. Guests must be rich or better. That's exactly the thing I'm looking for. Surf Canal Uno's homepage on the World Wide Web for all your pop-up advert needs. Canal Uno, the voice and future of Tropical. Yep. Oh. Only on Canal 60 Uno. seconds. Social media sensation Brittany Triviale arrived on the island today. On her arrival, she stated, Get ready to get shook, Tropico. Hope you're all on fleek. Whatever that means. I don't know as well, Penelope. I have honestly no idea. Okay, too many foolish things click it up to the tradition. The fool things that ways to... Okay. So, I have to agree with him. Otherwise, he can actually try to leave the island. Okay. But that's gonna hit my conservative standing. Which is not good, but... Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go with the capitalist standing over here. Right, what else? I think that should be all. So, if I remember correctly, he lives somewhere over here. Right? Yeah, Aiden Moonray. I think it was the guy. Where is he? No, that's Elon Gates. <laughs> well, wait, Elon Gates is somewhere on the island? Hold on a second, I, I think I can give him this uh, building I have over here. Tourists only, residents. There you go, Elon Gates. And he's gonna be from now on living on the island. Residence, filthy rich, celebrity. No, it's Britty Trivala, whatever. I don't know what she's doing over here. Adds a job position with a worker, the building increases beauty and vicinity. Okay, what Elon Gates can do for me? OMG, your hat is a dog. No, 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 no. I'm looking for Elon Gate. They call me. Where, how I can locate Elon Gate, please, people? Special citizens. Celebrities. Where the fuck is the other guy? Aiden Montre is here. Faction leaders. <laughs> criminals? What the f- I got- I got a lot of criminals on my island. Holy shit! I have honestly this many problems with fucking crime around. 
Wow. Okay, that's a, a lot bigger threat than I have expected. What the shit is happening on this island? There you go, finally found Elon Gates around here. Uh, celebrity will arrive soon. Okay, by the plane? I think so. You're listening to Celebrity There he is! On Canal Uno. Elon Gates announced today that he would be turning his vacation. Together we can mold this world. Oh my god, that's creepy. <laughs> right, open house, increases truth rating, decreases the power consumption of cyber operations center, nuclear program, space program, and research labs by 12%. Green engineer, increases the power production of wind turbines, waste treatment facilities, and solar power plants by 50% based on the current tropical law. That's like, wow. Hell yeah! It's a one way mirror. How about this one cocktail bar would upgrade one way mirror? The fuck is a one way mirror? Uh, okay, I think I had a cocktail bar somewhere here. If not, then I can just build one, I guess, but. Well, that's a restaurant. I don't know? Where the fuck is a. Co okay, hold on a second. Cocktail bar. I swear to god, I think I had one over here. Hmm, or maybe I didn't. Well, you know what? I think I can build this thing behind the cathedral. Because it's a lot smaller than the other thing, and it doesn't, like, you know, hide the fucking windows thingies. It doesn't shade the windows in a way that the previous one did. So let's put that thing over there. And. Let's make me make a plaza or square thingy over here. This one. This one fits nicely. Beautiful. Ha ah, ah! ha! Also, because of the dock area, I wanted to slowly and steadily start moving those facilities, right? So the cannery, for example, want to move you over there. Uh, where's the cannery? Cannery, 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 cannery. Pee -wee, there it is. Okay. I want to build you somewhere on this little tiny island here. If that would be possible, that would be great, actually. Yeah, here, for example. Doesn't look half bad, boys. Doesn't look half bad, if I can say so myself. I never actually take, uh, you know, a closer look of those things. Filthy rich, luxation. Okay. And you guys, filthy rich as well. Holy shit, there's a lot of filthy rich people over here. All of them are filthy rich. <laughs> I got so rich visitors right now on Tropical. This is just ridiculous at this point. Okay, tourists only. Yeah, I want to see money. Tourists only, I want to see money, boys. I want to see lots and lots of money. Tourists only, sorry, not this time. Thank you very much. Increase the efficiency, air conditioning. Okay, and I can also turn this thing after research to quiet house. This is housing quality by 12, job quality by 20, and expenses by 60. Reduces recommendation slots by 1. Guests must be filthy rich. Can only be booked by guests without children. Really? Well, most of them are already, I think, filthy rich. Yeah, all of them are filthy rich, actually. Holy shit. Seconds. Only on Canal Uno. What this time? Social media sensation Britney Triviale. Oh, she again? I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna develop this area over here. I mean, we got the solar power plants over here, so, you know, probably... Yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna build myself another super villa over here. That, that could probably be a good idea at some point, I guess. If I could... Hmm. I'm just not sure how I'm gonna connect this thing to the rest of the city. <laughs> Oh my god, I should have probably planned this thing a little bit better, didn't I? Oh well, whatever. <sighs> I did my best, I guess. I did my best. I'm building myself a new fashion company in the middle of the city over there, so we can remove later on this one over here. You know what? I was thinking that we can try to get drone command, maybe. Because this should uh, eliminate a little bit of the, you know, criminals around in the city, so... That's exactly the thing I would like to get. And I think this is a good spot to build over here. So build it over there. And hopefully it's gonna take over the crime scene that we have over here around the nightclub. I did not know that the nightclub pr makes that much of a crime scene. I was aware it's gonna make a little bit, but this is a bit too much. Okay, so what does the one-way mirror? Increases the efficiency of this spy academy by 5%. The effect can be accumulated up to the cap of 20. Oh, okay. Perhaps in a previous life you were a career's advisor, Presidente. Or perhaps in a future one. If you ever have to flee Tropico. <laughs> oh, I am not going anywhere. <laughs> a jest, of course. Although, you should probably need advice of the guard. I find myself unfortunate of font of wisdom. Since my falling out with the motherland, there has been times when I suspect that I was an heir beneath from emulation. Familiar faces in the shadows. Why else do you think I came to Tropico so readily? Ha! 
We should attract more celebrities to Tropico Presidente. They seem to attract wealthy tourists like flies. Something about the stench of decadence, I suppose. Yeah, I think I already got that thing. Alas, much like puppies, kittens and any other animal you make Ushanka from, celebrities are and the rich have very low attention spans. For that reason, Shopiko should definitely defice the entertainment and relaxation offerings. The more opportunities they have to spend money, the more they will. Have beauty farm, got. Luxury entertainment buildings, got a lot. Have fulfilled tourists, more than I can count. See, the money flows from their wallets like secrets from a beaten suspect. Oh, I am getting misty eyed thinking of my past. So I'm not so sure how much advice I can give you regarding celebrities, Presidente. Thankfully, the link with them requires a lot less nuisance than the link with my old comrades. And while this may be safer, I would be lying if I said I wasn't beginning to miss the excitement of an assassination attempt. Now that we have exhausted Ms. Kuznetsov's expertise, it is time to make Tropico the world's number one destination, and not just for tax exiles. Okay, Tropico is poised to become the greatest holiday destination in history. We have the scenery, we have the weather, and soon we have all the money too. But we must earn it. We have to offer our visitors the best holiday experience they money can buy. Working on that thing, revenue created by celebrities and filthy rich tourists. Working on that thing, but I got already so much money I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Wait, how's my they Swiss bank account? The broker. I guess I had a rich filthy rich your drum haven't you presidente or did you just beat them instead I'm not gonna tell you that thing I kid I kid I'm sure you've been you've keen to make your guests happy as possible I mean they happier they are the better they are the job and we both want to see a lot of happy rich celebrities on Tropico don't we <laughs> I know I do it's a tropical law for five stars okay working with that thing yo Gates boy where are you? The election is a okay, whatever. Uh, right. Do you seek enlightenment? Yeah, I want to. Okay, I want to interact with you. Every time I turn around, another independent store has closed and become yet another branded franchise coffee shop. Chain pain. Uh, okay. Let's keep those people, you know, happy on Tropico, I guess, for now. Environmentalists. Environmentalists. There we go. Okay, All right, Concertatus are gonna be really on fucking. I regret to inform you that someone is stealing from you, Presidente. And no, I am not referring to Penultimo's ongoing looting of the palace's stationary cupboards. <laughs> While listening to our celebrities' friends, they they reported some financial ingratitudes. They cannot be explained away by their own brazen tax evasion schemes. And the loss is your loss. Check your books. We need to find out who is behind this and put a stop to it. Complete observation, right? Have a spy academy. Does that mean I'll be losing money from now on? I really prefer not to lose my fucking greens, man. I'm. This is unthinkable. How could someone betray their beloved Presidente so? I bet they were the ones to steal all our staplers, too. Okay, let's finish the other quests and see what can be done about the money loss. The predator must be brought to justice as soon as possible. The thieves could undermine our plans to make Tropico the world's number one holiday destination. We can let that happen. I have a warehouse full of cheap sun cream that should... Uh, <laughs> cheap sun cream that are about to hit the expiry date. You wanna tell me that I'm gonna be losing money right now? I prefer that you're not gonna do that thing. Just saying. And get the fashion company, so it's gonna increase the quality of housing around it. There we go. Okay, and I think that I don't have to do anything else over here. I want to build the stadium eventually. What about the multi theater? I don't think I have a movie theater anywhere around here. Okay, you know what? Let's build one next to the shopping mall. Like, that's quite normal, right? To have a movie theater next to a shopping mall. So let's get that thing over there. The college is not working as intended. Where are all of my college You're educated fucking to... citizens? 60 seconds on Canal Uno. What? Noted an impromptu vandalism competition. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Looks like we have a final contract for Mr. Gates over here. Imagine nuclear fusion power cities, the power of the sun on earth, an end of power cuts enough for everyone. Right, so that's gonna hit hard on the industrial standing, but that's the thing I'm ready to accept. Okay, we got five stars with that thing. Right, so no longer I need to do the, anything with this. I think. I hope. I don't know. 
And then there's another guy over here. Okay, I'm not gonna touch this thing. I hope that this thing eventually is gonna, you know, disappear. So I won't have to take any penalties from this thing. Right. Presidente, I've always said you knew when to turn on the charm and when to turn on the jumper leads. Those celebrities are lucky you want them to be happy. In fact, with celebrities this happy, I expect they'll be hanging around shopping for a long, long time. And the more money you make from them, the more money you have to spend with me, which obviously is my entire motivation for doing this. Another day, another day. Okay, so that's one thing done. And where's Mr. Gate? Right. There he is. Together okay. We can mold this world. So green engineer, and he is increases the efficiency of solar power plants. Uh, waste facilities and wind turbines by 30%. Wow! It's like having a... <laughs> it's like having a additional solar power plant. And I got only, like what, four of them already. So if I'm gonna build a few more, then that's just gonna accumulate even more power. <laughs> exactly the thing I need. More power! <laughs> Lovely. Right. Uh, Okay, I'm starting to think what else we could try to develop over here. I mean, we've built this thing. I still can try to squeeze some things over here, but first I have to get rid of this gold here. So we open the space and I can place some more factories, I guess. I can also try to maybe, you know, increase the road on this side and maybe build the vehicle factory here. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad idea. Oh, actually, you know what? I should probably build it a bit closer. A bit closer to the intersection thingy over here. So wait for this rubble thingy to disappear. Come on, game. And vehicle factory. Okay, allow the game to run. There we go. Okay, and just increase the rot over here. Sweet! Okay, so that means we can now remove this one over here. This factory over here, which is making me quite the money, but... You know, the time has come to free this space to make something more awesome. Biggest reasons. Building an aqua park ne ne next to a waste facility <laughs> is probably a grim idea. <laughs> Not gonna try to do that thing. You know, for some other reasons to me. Oh man. I really don't like that you have to build the waste treatment facility originally in the middle of like a housing block just to have, you know, the best efficiency out of it. I would prefer to build it somewhere like on the outskirts of the city, but no. It's no. For you have to reach a bit in the middle of it. What? Okay, start the game. Noted moralist Jesus Fuego left Tropico today for the start of his global book tour with stops in all three of the world's remaining brick and mortar bookstores. <laughs> what the shit? Apparently if I'm gonna ignore the celebrities, I'm gonna also lose the... Ah, uh, the stars with them. Shit. That's not good. That's really, really not cool. What is this something I can try to do to, you know, add, uh, with a work in the building, increase the beauty in the vicinity, add a job with a work in the vicinity, increase crime safety. Yeah, but that doesn't give me anything to, you know, maintain the star thingy with the fucking celebrity. So this is a double-edged sword. We can get some really cool benefits from that thing, but also you can pretty much fuck yourself. Oh, I can order this house to Ju Jesus Fuego. Fuego, Fuego, shut up! Yeah, sure, let, let him live over here. Oh, Jesus! Where are you? I think we're waiting for his arrival. Where's the plane? Oh, <laughs> the drones are on duty, <laughs> flying around and <laughs> making little mistakes and accidents. <laughs> little happy mistakes to the people who just refuse to follow my rule. Isn't that just great? This is nice. I'm really happy what I have built over here. And I really enjoyed this mission as well. I mean, this island is really bloody as cool. I still don't know what could try to build in here. And we have some really nice ruins over here. Ooh, this is cool. I want to build something over here as well, but I just, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that thing. Uh, I've started excavating this thing over here. So eventually I want to build myself a space program here. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be nice. And here he comes. Hello. Social media sensation Britney Trivia. No, that's not her. That's not her. That's not him. Oh my god, so many celebrities. I don't think I can follow up with this thing. Okay, uh how about you gonna fuck off? Bye! <laughs> uh right. Now he's attacking the communists. Mr. Gates, Elon, whatever think, he's originally trying to destroy my fucking reputation with every single fucking fraction that is on Tropico. 
Thanks, dude. Current standing. Okay, let's go with this one for now. That added almost 2% to my supports. What the shit? And I lost one star. Ooh, handling celebrities is gonna be a lot harder than I have expected. I should give myself another medal. Uh, no, definitely no. Current standing. Industrials, current standing. Current standing. Okay, let's go, let's go with this one. I need the support of the in wonderful news. Kai. Your forthright spitting has caused uptake to jump by another 19%, a full 18% higher than the predicted 16%. Uh, I think you are terrible at numbers, aren't you, Penultimo? I swear to God. Even better, committed engagements now 65%. And do not worry, as soon as I find out what committed engagement is, I will be sure to report back. Thanks, Penultimo. You're such a fucking asset to this entire kingdom I have built. Right, I forgot completely that I needed to build myself a stadium, even though I have this fucking task over here for like the past an hour or so. I think I'm gonna build it somewhere over here. Yeah, this is this is like a good spot, I think. Outside of everyone ears. So, you know, we can make sport events and stuff like that, and nobody's gonna bite an eye because everybody's gonna be so just so much busy. Right, so let's decorate this thing as appropriate. I'm gonna add some squares and then things like that. Uh, what else we could try to add? Square? This thing? Yeah, this thing over here with with the horse thingy and whatever. Uh, build you here. Build you here. No! Shit. Wrong, 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 wrong. This is not the thing I wanted to build. And also, can somebody please fix the tiles? So it's gonna look like also one. Not that we have different tiles over here and different tiles over there. It doesn't look good. Penultimo? How about you're gonna focus on that thing, you twat? Uh, okay, I want to build this thing over here. And yes, we're gonna have some flags over here as well. So nobody is gonna forget on which island and in which empire they are living. And they are living in Tropico, ladies and gentlemen. And they better fucking enjoy living here. And I'm gonna make a fountain here, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, let's make a fountain here. Okay, you know what? I have to make myself once again the little thingy that I always do which basically means build all of these stupid available statues because the game does not give you a description of what each of the statues actually give you and later on is a problem so passionate leader welcome to the thingy this thing this thing and this thing okay which one's gonna be the best increases people in the surrounding area and improves overall happiness increases ability around and improves the relations towards the superpowers in embassies okay humble servant I think I have an embassy somewhere here yeah, there is one. Humble servant. Humble servant. Humble servant. There we go. I'm gonna build you... Here. There we go. Right, what else we have? Uh, before giving overseer, increases this liberty around citizens living around the state, such are less likely to become rebels. Increases the approval of immigrating li immigrants living... Celebrity no. 60 seconds! Only on Canal Uno. We're extremely sad to announce that Brittany Terviale... Oh no, she fled the island! Oh no! I had decided to go with no statue because none of those actually is gonna fit here, so... It's like, okay, whatever. There we go. Okay, and now just surround this thing with more parks, I guess. Turn this thing off. One here, one here, one here, and one here, like this. And then we can go full-on balls on this one. There we go. Okay, and now just surround this thing with more parks. So everybody is gonna know that this place was worth a lot of money and holy shit, you better have fucking fun over here. Otherwise, I'll have to kill you all. And let's add uh, this thing here. And this thing here. Okay, now I'm just gonna need some probably fountains so whatever. Yeah, let's add a fountain over there. And one more fountain over here. And a fountain over here. Aha! Beautiful. Too bad I cannot regrow forests over here. That'd be cool. I'd love to regrow some of those those trees around this place. I hope this is actually like a good idea, right? I've moved, I've built the stadium basically in the middle of nowhere because later on I'm gonna remove this thing over here. So yeah, I hope that that was actually a good idea. I don't know what I did, but all of a sudden my support is on 93%. I swear to God, I went to the kitchen to grab myself some coffee, and I got 95. Okay, I guess. That's fine. Whatever. Nobody cares. Finally, Jesus has arrived. Uh, okay, what you can do for me? Celebrity needs to be offered a citizenship. I think I gave you one. 
This is the income of negative influence of tropical personal experience by 7% based on the current, okay? Increases the efficiency of all colleges by 7. Yeah, if only would somebody actually use those shits. For some unknown reason to me, nobody's actually using the college they have built. Why? I, I wish I would know, but I don't. And yet another fucking stupidity of Tropico. Unemployed citizen 67. Okay. I got 42 open positions for people. Why is nobody going there and actually working? What what's the problem? What? What what do you want? What 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 are you lacking? Huh? Hmm? Can you please explain this thing to me? You need what? You need college education. Okay. Hmm. If only there would be a building where you can gain actual college education. Hmm. If there only would be a building in the city that has open positions for you to gain education necessary to work in that place. If only there would be such a building around here. Ha. Huh. Wait, maybe it's because I don't have a fucking ass... But I've been like high school somewhere. Yeah, I've got a high school up here. So, that's... Wh why? Yeah, this thing's not even full! Ugh. And who the fuck is this thing? Magnus Sterling. Okay, and what you can do for me? Superpower relations, malus of all offshore officers. Okay, that's motivation coach. Increases the job quality of every workplace by one, better than the current tropical love. Ooh, that's actually not that bad. Okay, I've ignored this thing for such a long time. And fucking ass Gates hates me. Right, okay, uh, not gonna go with the intellectuals because fuck you. And disease and how I'm gonna control evolution. Sure. Okay. And how much for that? Ooh. Oh, okay. Now the communists are gonna fucking hate me for that. Tropical charity is unobdable. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Why the fuck does a shack on my Why the what is a shack doing over here? Okay, let it burn. I don't care. Just let it burn. <laughs> Nobody cares about the shark in the middle of fucking nowhere. Right. Spire Academy, tourist rating. Uh, I don't really know what to do right now. I mean, we got still this plateau over here to, to do something with. I got those ruin, little ruins over here that we could try to make something fancy with as well. And I'm kind of thinking about that, doing that thing. Let's see. Ancient ruins. Okay. Build this bullshit. Now, what exactly we could try to gain from this thing? The building has no visitor slots. The base which is increased. The building decreases crime safety nearby. The building generates money for the Swiss bank account. Okay. The fees increases by 300 and the visitor seems to be filthy rich. The base wage is increased by 5. Workers acquire college education. Visitor slots are decreased by 2 per worker. The building generates knowledge points not preferred by any tourist type. Okay. Perfect by relaxation, thrill seeking and child tourists. Okay, you know what? Let's go with the last one. <laughs> because why not? I'm gonna make money. I'm gonna make it shitloads of money. And you know what? Just to access this thing, I'm gonna build myself. Where's the connection thingy? I'm gonna build a landing thingy over here. Reports of hey! Nice! Ha ha! Beautiful. I also got this little, really sexy island over here. I could try to make something here. I just don't know what. Another industry thingy? We well, already got an industrial section over here. I'm kind of thinking about adding myself just, you know, some more solar power plants because eventually uh, probably we're gonna run out of energy. So having those things around would be not such a bad idea if you think about that. I think as I cannot actually build two of them next to each other. Hmm. It's a bummer, isn't it? Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna also fix the bridge a little damn bit because it annoys me. Okay, delete this thing. Okay, delete it a bit more. Right, let's make that thing straight. Like such. And then the bridge actually can be... Oh, shit. And the bridge actually can just make a turn. Yeah, something like this, I guess. And then the same thing over here. So it goes over here. And then you're gonna make a nice little turn. There we go. Much better. So now we got, like, this space over here that we can try to uh, make something fancy with. Uh, okay, you know what? Maybe actually making an industrial thingy over here is not gonna be such a bad idea, after all. But then again, what well, I'm gonna make another solar power plant? Hmm. 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 Well, you know what? The best option would be to get rid of those resources over here. I could try to build something faster over here, since I already got a military base here. 
that could work. You also got a big ass farmland over here that we could try to make with something. Uh, and then we got. Ooh. I think I know what I'm gonna put my pirate cove. Uh, hey! A hidden pirate base. Nowhere to be seen. And nobody knows is here. <laughs> nice. I can't build you because reasons. Okay, how about temporary? Actually, no. I can Let's just build the landing thing over here. Oh, I forgot that this actually is uh, access to a road. Son of a bitch. Okay, demolish this. And build myself a panty at Timon's office. Because why not? I just don't know how to build this thing. Like this. A hidden pirate cove that nobody knows that is actually here. Ooh, creepy. And now, because all of a sudden the fucking rebel threat has increased, they are attacking all, all four sides of the island. So they are attacking the mines over here, then they are attacking the fish farm over here, it's and then they are attacking Celebrity 60 seconds. a fucking lobber meal over here. Social media sensation, Britney what the fuck? Oh, rebellion, finally. Okay, so maybe they're gonna actually face, like, proper, uh, you know, military force, instead of, like, attacking my fucking... Oh, shit, that's a lot of them. Uh... Where are my tanks? Guys! This is not funny! Okay, here come the plane, but... Hey, I got a military base over here. Where the fuck are the tanks? This is bullshit. The rebels have the palace. This is fucking oh, bullshit. The only reason why the rebels are attacking is because they don't have liberty. Why they don't have liberty? Because I've sent the TV stations to work in a specific work mode. By that I mean promoting, for, for example, guns. And then I said the radio station to promote capitalism. And that's a penalty against the liberty of the people. I mean... Those rebels are really dumb. Like, they are the most the dumb rebels in the entire the tropical the franchise. A new sport in the tropical because, like, okay, I rebellion. could understand. If you However, could, if you won't have work, if you won't have, uh, if you won't get play. paid, if all rebellion of a sudden, like, you illegal. have civilians all over the fucking place. You know, I could understand that. No, 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 no. You are fucking burning my infrastructure down because you don't have your favorite TV show. What the fuck? Then Finally. If these rebels want your attention so badly, okay, where are they the tanks? Make an appointment like everybody else. I have two military bases and no fucking tanks in the vicinity. This is bullshit. Oh, okay, there's one tank coming. One tank. One tank from all of those from every single fucking base I have, I got one tank. And once again fail it. Oh no, the the tanks actually might uh never mind, he's dead. The tank managed the rebels have the palace. Ah! You know, maybe it's just me, but if you have a military base, then by the flank out loud, why the shit do you go to an uh, to live in an apartment? Huh? Can you explain this thing to me? Because, to my understanding, organized vandals have damaged civic buildings in Torp workplace, home, apartment. You have fucking barracks over here. Why the fuck do you go to live in an apartment? You have a fucking barrack over here. Back in the previous tropical game, the military forces just used to live in a fucking barracks. No. They should make an appointment. This one's gonna be different. You're gonna live in a fucking ass apartment and basically leave you post. Sure. Sure. Okay. This is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. And like what? 50. 50 lunatics are attacking the base. Oh, because you have to go all the way around, don't you? Oh, thank God, you've actually managed to come to my def defense, finally. And you're not gonna be able to win this thing. The palace. Oh, have a motherfucking aircraft carrier. Have a motherfucking base with tanks. Fucking ass puzzles with brooms and sticks just go to my palace and burn it down to the. Oh, you. Oh, you can't be this dumb. Support 93%. Okay. Uh, let's check the almanac. Overall happiness 66 percent or 66 whatever. I don't care Fucking rebellions all over the fucking place And they're not attacking like public service buildings. Nah, 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 nah They're gonna attack like a lumber mill where innocent people work Sure, sure, sure. Let's let's, let's actually, you know, attack that thing. They're gonna attack a mine A, a nick, nickel one to make things even more interesting, you know, because they're too 
big, big of a bitch to attack actually anything important. No, 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 no. We're gonna... Oh, yes. Attack a shopping mall. Yeah, brave rebels fighting for a brighter tomorrow. Only because Reports fucking... Downtown vandalism <sighs> are greatly exaggerated. The fashionable new There's just... Architecture style there are a few mechanics in this game that are just complete anyway bullshit compared to the previous game. But this is just ridiculous bullshit at this point. So I'm gonna be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I have no damn idea how the fuck I'm supposed to win this thing. Uh, the, the, the rebel system in this game is just ridiculous. Oh, yeah. You, you know, rebels, if you could attack a specific hours, because that's an hours that we actually are at, a war, uh, at our work, right? At the military bases. Okay, that would be great. But if, if you're gonna attack... Outside of those hours, then sorry, nothing we can do, right? Because we have to, you know, fulfill our needs. I mean, who thought that this was a good idea in development phase? Phase, huh? Who thought that this was? And explain me how the fuck? How, who? How, how did you manage to get this many weapons? Who gave you the weapons? And nobody's working at the military base because. Oh, oh no. Okay, one tank is going out. Okay, one tank. Great. Plane finally attack it. A plane actually did something. You are winning the battle. I am? I have my fucking doubts right now. Okay, if you won't kill a fucking squad, I don't see through the smoke, but I think you've killed... Oh, okay, maybe you've freed actually three people. Great, that's that's awesome. That's actually really great. I want to ask, where's the rest of my military? Where, where is the rest of those idiots? Hmm? There's one tank over here. Where is the rest of them? There's just one tank here. Where is the rest? And also, how the fuck you're capable of destroying a fucking tank? You're just losing hit points like fucking crazy, aren't you? Oh, great. Here comes another squad of soldiers. Okay. How many hit points do you have? 1,000 and something. Alright. How many do the rebels have? I can't even fucking select them. Come on. I'm trying to set. There you go. Okay. Unemployed. Homeless. Seriously. Those are the people that attack me. Okay, what about you? What, what did you work? Unemployed, unemployed, homeless, homeless, unemployed. I have shitloads of job offers open. And you fuck us so filthy rich and you're making a rebellion. Is it just me who's thinking that something is wrong over here or, you know, that's just me? Okay, and there goes my military. I don't fucking care about this celebrity 60 fucking seconds. Here comes another tank from the military base. Just right over them. You gonna make any damage today? Jesus. Okay. Did I find anyone? Oh, another attack has arrived finally. I think I finally won. Palace categorically denies rumors of an Jesus. For rebellion, but acknowledges that a frank exchange of perspective did occur in Tropico this week. You've got to be fucking kidding me with this mechanic. Oh, now, now a tank is arriving. How about you're gonna put a tank at the fucking palace around the fucking clock, huh? I can pay you for that. Trust me. I think I have enough money. Ugh. Okay, so how's the rebel? None. Jesus. So maybe finally I'm gonna get myself some fucking silence that I was trying to get so hard. And maybe somebody finally will stop attack my fucking lumber mills and my mines. I could understand if they would attack like, you know, banks. Military bases, the ministry, the fucking, I don't know, the mal mal museum, the bloody ass uh, childhood museum. That's fine. That's understandable. Why in the seven fucks you're attacking an automated mine is just beyond me. Like, why? Why? Just fucking why? Anyway, I'm way too pissed right now to even try to fix this thing. So I'm going to probably leave this thing for the future episodes. We still have a few, few more things to do. Uh, and just so you know, it's not the fault of the DLC, it's the fault of the entire game. I just don't know who was responsible for this fucking military system, but he needs to get a fucking talk with me. This is ridiculous. Holy shit, and I, instead of being happy, I'm fucking leaving this episode because I'm pissed. Uh, oh well, that's gonna be the thing. I'm gonna try to continue doing the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the next episode. Peace out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.